All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm back. It's your boy, Brian Forbes. We here, y'all, once again. It's time. Inside stepping. Y'all know what it is. We're going to bring you all the information. We're going to tell you everything you need to know. We're going to keep you alive. And in living color, we're going to keep you abreast of everything happening in the steppers world because that's what we do at Inside Stepping. Why? Because it's Inside Stepping. Why not? Uh, tonight, y'all, we got a very special guest. Uh, I think y'all are going to thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy this one. Um, cause we dealing with a, we, we dealing with a legend y'all, just so you know. Now, before we get started, uh, y'all do not forget, hit those subscribe buttons, hit the like buttons, hit the share buttons, hit all them buttons. I need y'all to hit them buttons. Y'all, I got to get these numbers up. We got to get these numbers up y'all help a brother out. Sh subscribe, man. Hit that YouTube channel. Subscribe. That's what I'm talking about. Um, man, you know what y'all, I got to get my, I ain't got my stuff together here. Um, so anyway, in the meantime, y'all, as we prepare ourselves for this upcoming weekend, y'all know it's Black and Bling weekend, so we're going to be fully on deck and ready to rock. So all y'all get ready for that. That's, that's, that's going to be a big thing like it always is. And we're going to have a fantastic time like we always do. So uh, in, the, in, in that vein. Now, before, we, before I get too far into this, y'all, I got a bone. I got a bone to pick with my audience well some of y'all anyway particularly my lady friends let me tell y'all something as we approach this summer season this spring and summer season we're coming into a time where we are going to be wearing an awful lot of white y'all ambassador kevin nevels my man thank you for checking in brother i see you we're gonna be wearing a lot of white y'all now I'm saying that to say this, ladies, y'all need to wear that makeup that don't rub off. Why am I saying this? I'm saying this specifically because I just came from the cleaners and I had an atrocious cleaning bill because I had one of my white suits with makeup all over that joker. So I'm just saying some of y'all are huggers. Some of us are, you know, uh, uh, hand greeters, but most of us are huggers in the steppers community. So, ladies, y'all be mindful of that makeup. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Anyway, with that said, ladies and gentlemen, I have a couple here tonight, y'all, that you're going to thoroughly enjoy. Uh, many of you know them. Many of you don't, especially my people that are fairly new to the steppers community. But trust and believe, my man got some history, a whole lot of knowledge, and is very well abreast of the culture of this life that we all enjoy so much. So I want to welcome to my show, everyone, my man Super Dave and his wife, Sweet Carolyn, the legendary steppers of Las Vejas. What's going on, y'all? Uh, what's up, Mr. Brian? What's going down, my brother? Man. It's great. It's fantastic to see y'all. Uh, let me just let me just throw this out there. We had a fantastic time when we was in Vegas out there for the um, uh, Stepping Out of Africa event down there with Anthony Brown. That thing was fire. Uh, and y'all hospitality was bananas, man. I was I was we we just had a great a fantastic time throughout the whole event, and it was good hanging out with y'all. And I was happy to be able to get y'all on the show. Well, you and know the good thing. Thank, thank you. you. Go ahead. You know, because, see, you know, like I said, you know, in the beginning of time in Vegas, you know, we come a long way here in Las Vegas, you know, mm -hmm. you know, which we started this game off in 97, 96, 98. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, we toured around, you know, we didn't, we see, we didn't bring it like the new school game did it. You did. We, we actually, you know, took the people of Las Vegas, the West Side. And you know we we get we pretty much gave them the game of free, you know. We so basically, y'all are so so y'all are the pioneers for the stepping oh, yeah. game in Las Vegas. Yes. yes. Wow. We are That's the original. The original. So in other words, so in other words, y'all have made history on the West Coast. Oh yeah. yeah. Okay. So a lot of things of what you see today, you know, is what we started back in ninety six, ninety seven, ninety eight. You know. Okay. Okay. That's and, what's you know, happening. You know, as I'll tell you, Lash, you know, to most of my people, you know, from Vegas, I I would, you know, give a shout out to my main man, Rory Mack, of 63rd and Cottage Road, you know, yeah. to just get this West Coast started. 
and then Mark Melody of Power 88.1. Uh, I, I give a special shout out to him because he's been in the game for a long time here in Vegas. Okay. Even though he's not from Chicago, he's from Markham. But uh, and also <laughs> I would give I would give a big shout out to Big Tony because he was a promoter okay. in the game. You did, you know. But we gave him the originality of the game. You know, even though Tony is original from Chicago, but he was more to the house thing here in Vegas. Dig it. And then. I get a big up most, you know, to my main man, Mellow Mike. You did come in in 2021, stepping the ball. You did. Yeah. That really helped lift Las Vegas off, you know, in a short period of time, you know. Okay. I mean, it's time, you know, as us, as originated from the dungeon, you know, back in 76, mm -hmm. you did the Perth House, and, you know, growing up, see generations. In this dance, you know, as we moved on in our progressing this time. Right. And for us, Super Dave and Sweet Carolyn originate the West Coast. Yeah. You know, you know, you know, cause see, pretty much everything took place right here in uh Las Vegas. You know, then you know, you had your King Dreams, Oakland and Phoenix and everybody came along, you did. But mm -hmm. for us, you know, to pay the heavens to the game, you know, and bring the West Coast community together. You know, and we come a long way in Las Vegas. That's a beautiful thing. Yeah, we come a long way. So some of the stuff that what you see today, you know, here in Las Vegas, you know, is a lot of strive, you know, because and you see, when we started the game on the West Coast here, you know, we had to have a promoter license. You know, we had to go really? through the bar guarantee. They, you know, they, they, they made y'all uh, have yeah. a promoter's license in order to promote events. Oh there. yeah, oh yeah. Check that we out. had to have, see, we had to have a promoter license. We had to have insurance, yeah. and we had to have bar guarantee money. You know, but see, I can say for most for us, they gave us a real super big start with, uh, you know, shouts out to uh, Galaxy Glen. Uh, Kale, the queen of flow of uh, Power 88, Mark Melody, and, you know, to really bring stepping out to a flow for uh, Las Vegas, you know, it was a big flow because most of our parties was live remote. Dig so it. it gave a chance for most of the people that see it from the Midwest. Okay. Um, you see what I'm saying? To grow here in Vegas. You know, it's interesting you talk about, when you talk about the promoter's insurance and the license. You know, that's a funny thing because there have been topics of discussion where that has come up in recent, particularly since we had COVID. And a lot of people talked about, you know, because a lot of people try, who were given events ended up having to do refunds and all kinds of other stuff and having a situation with money. And, of course, when you deal with the liability of people dancing and that sort of thing at an event, there's always going to be room for the necessity of that insurance. I think that's something that should probably be required in most places, don't you think? Well, you see, but see, you know, to come here... And I think it was for the safety, not just for us as black people, but for all of us, mm -hmm. I would say, even just for the industry, you see what I'm saying? Because, see, even here, okay, all the black folks and everything was the West Side and the white folks had their thing. So I, I would say it was a pretty good opening for us mm -hmm. coming into Las Vegas and, you know, getting this venue started. And then, you know, within the first... What six years we 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 was able to bring in Herb Kent, Pete Frazier, Majestic James, Mellow Chris, and all the original people when the game was just starting. You know, as they would call the step and last. You know, we come from generation after generation, so they would say eight count step or whatever. We were still originally people to pe teaching the people from, uh, you know, original and just give them the basic part of the dance, which we had Phoenix. Coming mm -hmm. in California, uh, uh, Portland. Mm -hmm. You know, we had a lot of people. Then we had a lot of people from Seattle coming in here mm -hmm. in those early stages. Hmm. But well, see, you, you know, for us here, we did a lot of most, a lot of uh, mostly live things. You know. Okay. Uh, uh, speaking time. of so, speak, speaking of original, right quick, uh, Susu Watson just told me to tell you hello. Uh, oh yeah, well, we definitely on, give on a shout out. You know, yeah. Susu go way back yeah. to the Chic Rick house in the east of the rain. You did back in the yeah. days. Her uh, sweet used to get out and do their thing. You <laughs> did. You know, we give yeah. a big shout out to Susu. 
<laughs> in the house. You so, understand? You, uh, you know, now, you know, when you talk about and one of the things that I that you touched on also that I'm that I'm always excited to talk about is the original dance because that's where I cut my teeth. And, you know, guys like you in, in y'all's generation, which is, you know, a few years older than me, are the ones that me, me and my crew came up watching. And I'm always excited when I meet people who still have that original dance. And I was like, you know, when I, when I, when we got out to Vegas and I saw so many people that literally still had that flair and that flavor i was kind of tripping like oh man this is cool out here you know what i mean i was real happy out there on that west coast but you see um, you know the thing about vegas was a host see vegas was a host of a lot of us that been here out the years when we got here mm -hmm. you know you had the chicago connection there was a group that a lot of old timers from the king's club the dungeon and mm -hmm. a lot of most of us they come out our here we move this way in this town and uh retired mm-hmm and a lot of us, you know, come out, you know, and it was good, you know, on that stage, you know, like I say, and all of us, even though we are stronger today, you know, mm -hmm. for the West Coast, as you know, like I said, I give a special shout out because I get a big out to, as a nom one of my nominations, Mr. Mellow Mike, you know, yeah. for to get that Lifetime Achievement Award that come all the way back from the Kingdoms Club, you know. Yeah, at Step Against you know, this year, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We should okay. get ready to head that head that way, man. Yeah, we you all know, looking forward to that one. A lot of great things, a life man of the game, man. You know, and you know, as you know, even when I speak generation to generation, cause see, all the new schoolers and everybody got their dads. But like I say, it's still great down to, you know, that you still got to have that original partner in this game. You did. You, and you, you got, you, really you got your original partner. It is, whether you can say 10 count, 12 count, 16 count. You got to be original <laughs> and you got to be coordinated with your game. That's right. Well, look, you you got your original partner over there with you, though, right? Oh, yeah. And I got Miss Sweet Kellen in the building right here. <laughs> and Miss Sweet Kellen come all the way back from the dungeon with uh -huh. me. See? All the way to the air looking for it. Look here, All man. The way to the Speak, on Speak on that. Speak on it. Club. Speak on it, brother. Because listen, this is, the, you know, let me tell you something. And this is one of the things, like, the people who've been around the game for a long time know you and know who you are. Okay? Oh, yeah. But you know, we got a lot of new steppers here in the game these days. And they, they're, they're coming up. And it's people like you that I reach out to the most because I want people to really and truly understand the history and the background and how many people have touched this game prior to where we are today. Yeah. And well, so, I can say this though. Hold on, I can say this. Mm -hmm. I still give my I give my big shout out to uh, Kim Bowie, mm -hmm. Little Mike, uh, Little Roy, Little Roy. Cause see, a lot of people don't talk about Little Roy, mm -hmm. but uh, Little Roy, uh, you know, uh, you know, Michael Lamores and Marshall. Those guys are not with us today, but I give my thanks to those guys. Uh, you know, because we grew up on 39th, the original 39ers, mm -hmm. you know, in the game, you know, and uh, we danced all over the city. Taboo. I mean, you know, little Alfred, you know, right. because, you know, we were all together. George Macaroni, you know, we were all Demeter, rest our soul in peace, you know, but, you know, we were all together. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, my partner Kenny Hardy is coming out of Chicago, uh, Florida. My boy mm -hmm. Red, I, he's one of my nominees for the Stravaganza, you know, coming up this year, you know, for mm -hmm. 2022. You know, you know, special shout out to him, you know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Speak up, Carol. Say some words. <laughs> That's right, Carol. Yeah, speak up, baby. Carolyn, flex, you know? <laughs> okay, he came back from uh, 76, 78. Mm -hmm. House parties. We did the house parties. Originated from the house parties. And we moved on to the big sets. Like um, Fort, Dungeon, mm -hmm. King's Club, all over. We just everywhere. Okay, let me let me ask y'all this, cause y'all that's the second time y'all brought up the Fort. Now I want for my for my newer stepping audience, and when I say newer, I'm talking in the last 10, 20 years. For my newer stepping audience, because this is not something a, a topic that we've ever really touched on. You know, you hear people say it, but nobody really elaborated on it, Dave. I want you to give my audience some 
understanding or at least a visual. Give them an explanation or you, uh, about about the fort. <laughs> tell me about. Tell us but about the fort. Fort, see, the fort. See, the Elrond Fort was the Ring of Honor. See, get down, get, get, down, get down, down. So you know, you when you come down, to the fort, down. see the thing about us when we worked out with our partners in the game. You know, we pretty much you know because that was a contestation for all of us across mm -hmm. the whole city of Chicago. You know, which we switched from the dungeon. Cause see, after '78, going into '79, you know the whole scene became 39th Street, and it became the Air Rook and Fort. And okay, uh, hold on, hold on, right there. Stop right there for one second. Tell them what the Air Rook and Fort is, was. Well, the Air Rook and Fort was <laughs> was, the get down, get was, down. was get down, get down, dog. It was the Ring of Honor, but it was for all, you know, even though. I mean, you know, I would say it like this. See, Jeff Fordham did communicate with, the, you know, the president and all them stop the violence in Chicago. Mm -hmm. And they communicated, you know, they did a lot of things for the community. Mm -hmm. Okay, so for the Air Rookins to give back to Step, that was a big deal. You know, mm -hmm. not just for stepping, just for Beth, for Boogie and the community. And they did a lot. So, you know, for us, you know, even though those contests and we danced for 500 at the end of the month, but, you know, it was a, it was a big contribute on their part. Mm -hmm. And, you know, a lot of people talk about Sam Chapman. They talk about Cousin Danny. They talk about, they never talk about the main temple of the DJs that was DJing in the Elwood Report. Hmm. Okay. And they played the primers of the music, and you would talk about Blue Eyed Souls, anything from Buddy Miles to the Star Spangled Banner stepping. And <laughs> you had to prove yourself. You understand? So you hear most people, when you look at these contests from the World's Lodges and all that stuff, everybody, but see, when you came to the fort, whatever that song was, you had to get out. Mm -hmm. So that means if you're a real stepper, you're going to have to get out for your get out. Whether right. That means whether you're an eight count, 12 count, six count, don't matter. Whatever <laughs> right. that record was, you had to get out for your get out. That was your it opportunity. Okay. There's no special there. And see, in our time, we didn't mope on that. You know why? Because, see, the game was so fresh. If we lost, we had to go back and say, man, let's go back to the drawing board. Let's go back and work on some things. But it was good environment to see every dancer across Chicago mm -hmm. from the uh, Al McCormick, Nell Funk, Cabrini Green, all the North Siders, the West Siders, the South Siders, and the mm -hmm. Low End come together in a three-year span. Now, while you're talking about that, talk about the levels of respect that were required in order to even be there. Oh, well, you did. Well, the one thing it was to come in there, the game was like, well, you know what? You had to have that respect because they weren't giving that in that order. It wasn't no bickering about nothing. I mean, if you came in there, even if you got caught stealing somebody's coat or taking somebody's, you know, you got handled in that order. And I'm going to keep it 100. Okay? Even though we smoke weed, but shit, you can buy the weed from there. We can smoke your weed all night. You did? Uh-huh. And we drink the golden champagne and get on the floor. You did? Nah. <laughs> I can put it that way, but I would tell you that. But uh, you know, for the ladies and the people that came in there, there was a, a, a it was it was a hundred percent respected order. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, you didn't want to see that back fire skate, nigga. You weren't right. You did come up in the air room before. You did. You, had you to weren't trying to see that fire skate, Mister. <laughs> yes, sir. You know, but you had to be in. You know, but see, the love was. It wasn't about. Because they were El Rookers, they gave the love to everybody. Mm -hmm. So it was the love of the dance, it was the love of the game, it was the honor. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I, I I mean, I look out to all my low end cats like, uh, you know, Lil Hollis, he ain't here today, Lil, you know, Lil Thaddeus and all those cats, man, that really, you know, contribute to this game. You know, Onion, mm -hmm. original Onion from the dungeon, you know, uh, you know, a lot of us, man, you know, just a lot of love in that game, man. So let me ask you this. Um, give me some idea, and I want both of you to answer this. How do you feel from that time to this about the changes that have taken place and where it is today versus where it was? 
Well, one, everybody is too more of a, the dance has always been more competitive to me. Mm-hmm. It's not about romance. It's not about click and all that. Mm-hmm. You know, the dance is more of originality dance and it'll always be that way. So, I, I mean, even if you, 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 if you're an eight counter, you, no matter what, you still gonna be, you have to be created in your own style and your own way of dancing. You mm-hmm. can't be mixed up and you can't be confused with the dance. You right. know, it's, it's a lot of practice in that dance. It's a lot of beats. It's a lot of things that go on, you know, regardless of uh, whether you want to, whatever you want to call it, but mm-hmm. it's a, it's a, it's a different generation change. Yeah. You, see you know, it's funny. So- Susu on here just mentioned that if a man was sitting down, you had to get that seat up for the woman. And, you know, I think that is, I don't know if that's a, what it is nationally, but I do remember a time in Chicago myself where that was just customary. Isn't it a shame, though, now that we don't, oh, yeah. that, well, that you know, is not honored anymore? Even with, but you got to look at this, too, though, okay? It's about, it's about respect. respect. You know, mm-hmm. it, you got to look at this, too. You got to look at it, too. You know, uh, if the man could get out, the woman ain't going to dance with you. Mm-hmm. Well, I can, I can put it this way. Let me say it like this. I, I can remember a time when the ladies did too much on the guys that fast to dance with them. Mm-hmm. And it took, so the guys became, when you want to talk about the man on man thing, the guys started, the guys were grouped up more on the get out thing. But it, but I can tell you this much in one night in the year, what, 77? Mm-hmm. What is it going to 78? Cousin Danny said, well, you know what? Cousin Danny stopped the music to make the guys honor the women's and Make mm-hmm. the women under the men's, right? Okay, because okay, if you know the you know you 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 asked for the dance and try to get the dance to the flow, and it was hard, or somebody had to check you out for a while to really dance with you. Mm-hmm. And a lot of and, and at that, that, that time, a lot of the women wasn't really honoring the men. Hmm. So the guys started getting down for the get out of themselves, you know, because okay. they weren't getting that dance with that woman like that. So hey. You know what? And then it became more competitive because that guy in the circle came around, okay? And it, it, it was pretty hard, though. But I can <laughs> tell you this much, Cousin Danny stopped the music, mm-hmm. okay? And so, you know, all the guys, you need, you need to honor the women's and, you know, y'all graduates, you know, we got to make this a set. And, you know, everybody got to get out of this whole click type of thing, you know? Yeah. And the women's, y'all need to respect the men's more for the dance. Nowadays, it's more dominant women than it is men. Yep. Okay, if you're going to do the workshop yeah. thing, you still got to keep the guys involved. Yeah, you, and a lot of instructors a don't. You honor five or 20 women that's not a partner. So that means for all you instructors out here, y'all need to be talking to people about getting uh, couples together mm-hmm. and get more guys more involved in the women's because the women's dominating the dance more than the guys now, and you see the women yep. doing it. Woman on woman thing. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, it's gotten, it's gotten from pretty, what we used to do in the dungeon. Yeah, it's gotten pretty. Uh, this the community has gotten pretty interesting over the last uh, several years, where oh, yeah. we have so many more, yeah, so more many more women, women. dominating the man. Yeah. And okay, even though they ain't got that one two punch like that, but they got their eight count punch like that. Yeah. In their generation. Yeah. You did. This is true. This is true. So. Um, I want to move on to something that I know is dear to y'all's heart. Fashion. Come on, man. Y'all be oh, clean, yeah, man. But, boy. You know, we get out here, with that look, fashion. y'all be clean. Look, you you kept that tradition right there alive. Y'all still be I'm getting cut up. I'm going to take that fashion show thing <laughs> because this is the new Steppers Glass Lady in the game. Yeah. You know, in the last three years, we're in the workshop. So speak up, Kelly. Let's go to work, Kelly. We're in the workshop, so I got my glasses. Hold, wait a minute, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Carolyn, hold on, hold on one second. <laughs> now, y'all, y'all, see, look, you, see, I want y'all to understand. You got to explain fashionably why these glasses are important. I want, I'm, a, we gonna show the glasses because I want everybody to see because y'all need to be putting y'all order in for these glasses. Everybody got to have one. But explain to the people how these glasses go along with your outfit and your oh, yeah. the way well, that's you roll. The whole plan, you know. Yeah. The thing is, but well, see, you know, that's our goal. You know, we 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 try to fit our own model and stuff. You know, so 
Yeah. Once we got into the bling and we got into a lot of stuff, so we just start creating a lot of style of the glasses that are different colors of our outfits when we come out. You okay. know, to this temple set. Now, Every now, day. customarily, customarily, we know them as you know, uh, pimp cups, player cups. Yeah, yeah, but now, y'all, yeah. y'all got stepper cups, so yeah, y'all need to... cups cause a lot of a lot of ladies go out and they uh they don't enjoy the cups that they get from behind the bar. Right. And they said half of the cups be dirty and nasty, and so some ladies like to bring their own private cups out. Now that's right. Now y'all hear that, ladies? Ladies, when you yeah, this is you original. need to order, you need to order yourself. So one of these type of glasses. I got the big glasses. That's you see now, now, hold on, pay attention. Now, y'all pay attention to the cover over the glass and how important that is when you in a bar, you in a club, you in an environment, oh, yeah. you're not familiar, you put that cover over your drink so nobody can drop nothing in there when you're unsuspecting. For that's, that's for my green folks out there that don't know no better. Go ahead, take, finish explaining it, y'all. Oh, yeah. You know, and that's, you, know, I got, you may want a shot. I got the little shot glasses. You know, a lot of women like to shop. Got the yeah. little shop. Oh, yeah. Then I had a, um, hold on, see, you got the crown here. This is the crown jewel right here, baby. You know, you show that crown jewel on This is you know? this the big wine glass. Put it, put it in front of the camera, Carol, so we can see it. There you go. Okay. It's the cover in the straw. You get the cover in the straw. That's beautiful. Okay. So, then some other color your initials. You can put your name on it. Put your name on it. You know, I mean, we got the sequence. You know, you get that sequence action on them. You dig? Yeah. And you get your sequence uh, cup. You dig to go with it. To match on that, match that side. outfit. There you go. Them stepper, them stepper, them stepper cups. You got oh, to yeah. have that. Yeah, that's a that's always a good thing because it ain't nothing worse than going in some of these spots and they don't be done clean the glasses and everything. You get to clean your own, you know. See, and if you just if you want to see your drink all the way, I got the, the clear glass. It's a little bit bling bling, but you know, I got the clear. There you go. Yeah. Real slick right there. Yeah, bring your glass. You know, that's just part of our swag, man. You know, cause we love the bling on this West Coast. You did, you know, yeah, and do and, our and, thing. You know, and whenever but, I see y'all, you sure got one in your hand. That's what's that's what's happening. Now, yeah. um, my producer wants to know. She want to make sure that y'all put your information up so people can order. Uh, you know, make sure y'all give them the information on how they can get one if they wanna if they wanna purchase from you. All she gotta do is go to my Facebook page. Okay. Uh, okay we, we go. Carolyn Johnson. Okay, y'all hear that? My for my audience out there, that's Carolyn Johnson. Uh, yeah, yeah. Out there in Las Vegas, y'all can hit on her Facebook page and you can place your orders. She got them for you. You can yep. give them, you can do custom orders, you can do it how you want. I do anything, any style of glass you want, I can do it. <laughs> uh, okay, so look here, y'all. We're going to get back to that in a minute. My right. producer just okay. came in. The producer lady just stepped in. And, you know, she's my fashion guru around here. So she want to get back to the whole fashion part. Like, okay. you know, tell us. You know what I'm saying? Cause, cause you know, y'all oh, come back here. She, she always, she come in here and give me these questions and then she run out. Explain to these people for me, please, sir. Explain to my audience what step a sharp mean. Well, you know, when you want to get step a sharp, you dig, you get the two piece, you dig. I'll be seeing our time. You know, we always got them tailor made, you know, with our initials on, right. you know, I mean, you know, in the Bay and I, I could give you the original call. In the steppers dress code, even back in the day, if you had on the baggy pants mm -hmm. and you had on you some Stacy Adams, you did an original back in the day. Wait, wait, wait. With a decent, decent, nice shirt on. Oh, yeah. And them slacks, that shirt hitting you flowing That's just right. right. There you go. <laughs> yes, sir. Right. Or you got on your pair of 40s. Nah, got to have the 40s. You know, a lot you gotta it's have funny. The 40s now. It's funny because uh, I believe it was Tony Bowen was like, man, y'all want no 40s? I was like, ah, that's a lie because back in them days, everybody lie. wanted 40s. That's uh, all they wanted. I'm going to show you something, though. The original cut is like this for the heel for the guys. Right. You got to have the short cut. You know, right. even though we bought out, we stepped in the original snake platforms. Mm -hmm. You know, we stepped in the platforms you did back in the day, the original snake platforms. Yep. You did all that. Okay. So, you know, but yeah, the original for the get out, get out. You gotta have that shortcut heel, like you see James Brown, and you see right. him do that split. That heel ain't that high. That heel is that short. Mm -hmm. That's that forty heel. 
Uh, so look at here, man. Y'all, uh, y'all got a good tailor out there? Cause I need me a new tailor, man. Look. <laughs> yeah, I got a couple of tailors, dog. You know, I got Mr. Valentino. I got a few people out here in Vegas, man. Cause we get out for the get out now. Okay. Yeah. Now but one see, like of my I say, every class master fashions. There you go. Yeah. Now see that, and that, and that's what I want to get to. Now see for all y'all out there, and and you know, I'm, I'm hoping we get back to a time. Even though we got a lot of people in the steps community that still get their clothes cut, I'm hoping we get back to a time where more people are getting their clothes cut like back in the day. And in the right. process, oh, yeah. ordering put up your on their there, glasses. Put that That's right. Put the, on the cuffs, on the collar. Oh, yeah. Uh, but I want, I, you know, and then they can, and then while they doing that, see, they take a little piece of that fabric from that cut, and they get it to y'all so you can match that glass to go with that fit. You did. That's it. That's make what it, I'm talking about, do what man. It do. Yeah. That's what I'm now I got about. one of my yeah. listeners, Lala Harris. She out of Houston. She says she want one for her patio. She got oh, a nice yeah. patio, y'all. She got one of them. You want to go hang out in the summertime and just lay back. That's how you patio. do it. She need one yeah. for her spot. So, but yeah. like I say, she got a hit. She had a hit, sweet girl. It oh, she'll reach. She, I she make sure she get the information. That's right. I make sure. I make sure she get the information. Oh yeah. But um, in, in her order. You but know, yeah. that's how we do it. We get out for the get out, man. But, you know, as you know, we, we still stick with the culture of the dance, you know, the dance and carry it on to get that support, that support to all the newcomers out there that still yeah. get down, you know, for the ones that's, you know, still doing the thing, man. Right. You know, it's like I said, it's really it's nothing for us to prove, man, but just to come out a little bit, and, you know, and show that love or honor, man, you know. Well, it's always, for me, it's always a pleasure to have people like you, Dave, Super Dave. Y'all, I call him Super Duper Dave. But uh, <laughs> just so, so it's always a pleasure for me, That's man, funny. to have people like y'all on this show because yeah. my whole thing is about preservation of the yeah. culture and the history. Not to say that we got to live in that. Like, you know, some people think, I think they think that I intend for us to go back to a time I don't but what I want is to make sure that that history doesn't get lost so that we have the bits and pieces that are put together because everybody's story is different um, oh yeah you are one of those people that is well known in the community for the original steppers and there are people who I'm very familiar with very close with who um you know vouch for the fact that you know what what I love is when we get the susus and the Josiah Burt's and you and the people like y'all yeah. who were actually in the room and not all that yeah i was there but they ain't got nothing to prove nothing to back up what they saying see because you got a whole lot of that out there you got a lot of people you oh, got people that claim they from chicago that ain't so right. you know. of course you know what we saw that even in the beginning here you know on this mm -hmm. west coast man you know i had to, i educated a lot of djs i educated mark melody he from rockford but he's not original Chicago, but you know, right. you put, you place them together, man. Mm -hmm. So, you yeah. Know? So it's always a good thing, man. When we can, when we can put our little, little bits and pieces of the history in the proper places, well, man. See, and we put can this look thing at the fruits of our labor for Las Vegas here, you know, cause like I say, we come a long way all the way from 96, 97. Yeah, no doubt. Absolutely. And you can look at the fruits of the labor of all the new organizations here in Las Vegas today. You know, as people would say, Sam Chapman and all that, you could say Super David Sweet Curl and originators of the West Coast. Mm -hmm. You did not, uh, not the um, well, King Dreams and all them, cause all this game fled in here first, mm -hmm. and it stayed here first for a good eight years before it really fled in deeply west. Yeah. You mm -hmm. dig in that one? Yeah. Right, cause it was all here in Las Vegas. Yep. Yeah. Well, I'm going to tell you, man, um, I don't know what other people say or I mean, I, I, well, I kind of do, but I don't know how other people feel about the West Coast. But I can say this much from the two events that I went to on the West Coast this year. West Coast got it going on now. Oh, yes. I don't know. People be fighting for these Midwest dollars and these men in that in that, in that southern that southern uh, 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 crowd. But I can tell you this. That West Coast is a new frontier, Jack. They ain't nothing. They ain't playing out there. Y'all ain't playing on that end. Let's lay. I'm hey, with it. Ain't shut down though, dog. We 24, yeah. 24 here, dog. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We don't shut down in Las Vegas. I see that. You know? Look, I, I felt know, that because I needed some, some sleep. It was team no sleep. Okay, talk about it. We got Speak some upcoming on. things coming up down the road. You know, October. 
you know, and then, you know, coming into next year, we're going to start doing the Icon Steppers Award West. Okay. Party okay. For stepping icons of this game. And we would go new and we would go new and old on that because you got a lot of new school icons out there today. Okay, yeah, yeah, I, I have to agree with that. I like that idea, Dave. I think that's down, great. You know, for the get down, you know, yeah. that's in this community. So, you know, we got some things coming up, the legendary steppers of Las Vegas. You know, I talked to um, a young man that's a Midwesterner, a guy by the name of Sam Long. Have you met Sam Long yet? No, I haven't really met him. Okay, listen here. I like this kid, man. I call him a kid. He's he's younger than me by probably 20 or so years. Sam is an up-and-coming stepper, man. He's been in the game about three years, and this dude is making okay. waves. And I like Sam because Sam has the energy, man, to take this dance to the next level. There you and, go. And he's in his 30s, his early 30s, man. And this is these are the kind of guys that we want to see get the game handed off to. Well, and, of course. That's the way it goes, man. It's, you know, it's one circle to another. You know, I, I you know who else I give a big thanks and shout out to is Tony mm. Hearns of Las Vegas here. Yeah, 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 okay, yeah. The yeah. Universal Steppers. Mm -hmm. Okay, Tony Hearns grew a long way. Uh, Tony Hearns go, you know, he did a wonderful, tremendous job here to keep the community together. Uh, as you you see that yourself when you yeah, come here yeah. on Thursday. Yeah, I did. I did. I, I, mean, I, I uh, had a fantastic time at his event and, over at the SNS. You know, was it the SNS uh uh Karat? What's the name of it? SNS Saloon. 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 That's it. Yeah, yeah. SNS Saloon. Yeah. Give a shout you know, out to them. I give a special shout out to those guys, you know, because they keep the game going. Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, the stepping catch came later in the community here. I would say the stepping catch. What was they? Two thousand and six, eight, seven, mm -hmm. nine. Way back somewhere back in the community and been doing their thing here over ten years. You know, yeah, nice Las group Vegas. of guys. I, I I had a I had the opportunity to meet them. Great guys. Uh, in fact, they came to Phoenix uh, last month too. Oh so, yeah, yeah, but, see, but all that pays a tribute to the fruits and the labor of the original yeah. legendary step of Super Davis, Sweet Carolyn, in That's this right. game of Las Vegas. You That's mean? a beautiful thing. You That's see, a beautiful see. thing. So y'all, you know, it's always nice, man, when we see cities building, when they're when right. they're, when they're being built up and not torn down because of divisiveness and nonsense and people and then actually just, working I want, that I goal. I won't leave out Mellow Mike and Eminem Productions. Mellow okay. Mike and Mercedes are Eminem Productions and they think, you know. I mean, yeah. everybody paid a big contribute here yeah. in Las Vegas, you know, okay. to keep this game what it is. Close. And then I see my man stretched and done, done stretched his tentacles yeah. out that way, so he doing oh, yeah. his well, thing over in there in the, Vegas. He in the picture now. Yeah, I see you know? him, yeah. He making it, he, he getting it done over there, you know what I'm saying? Playing oh, yeah, uh, with his show. Playing his I music. I mean, his show. And let yeah, me give, and, in. Yeah. and I'm going to give a shout out to my man DJ Paradise, because I like oh, that yeah, dude. Paradise. He's a badass yeah. DJ. You can't leave Paradise out, neither. That's right. He yeah, one of my, he he one of my DJ Paradise. idols. I like him. And, yeah, and you Paradise know. is original from the 4th, from the 39th. You did? Okay, okay, dig that. Paradise is original from okay. the 4th, you know, way back. That's what's up. That's mm -hmm. definitely what's up. You know, okay. so like I say, us, Mercedes, all us, we one big family. We one big family. That's a beautiful thing. And we thing, are man. originators from back in the day. You did? Yeah. Las Vegas. Super it's always Super nice, man, when I see people who come from where I come from and we spread out all over this big old marble, man, and we're getting it go. done. And we're making it, we spreading it. You know what I'm saying? We got to pimp yeah. the whole bubble, baby. No, not, not a part of it, all of it. You know what I mean? Right. So we everywhere. One thing you gonna always find is for people from Chicago is everywhere. Everywhere. And that's that. Everywhere. Yep. Yep. Well, you know, like I say, when we got here, the group was the Chicago Connection, and they was 300 strong. Then you oh, had wow. your Detroit connection. So, you know, when we were all in the mid nineties, when everything, you know, as see in Vegas here, the Jackson five and the temptation, they all had us all black folks on the West side. Mm. And so I guess by us coming in in 95, 96, 97, they were opening up doors where we can walk on the strip and go to decent places. So, we came in in a mega time here in Las Vegas where the doors were opening up for black people. Okay. And the show stages. So it was kind of hard to move around being being black exactly. in that city then? Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. Dig that. Okay. Oh, yeah. I mean, you know, the temptations, they come in through the back door like bus boys and everybody. They never let us come through the front door. Right. Wow. Yeah, that's you deep. Know? That's deep. Well, now y'all can kick the doors open and make it happen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> Make it do what it do. Hey man, uh 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 show me what, what what that white glass right there look like. That one behind you, that white one. 
Let me see that white. Oh, yeah, this is the spackler here. Sure, sure, sure. Let me speak your uh, yeah. work. This the work this lady. Is, this is the spent Texas, the white glass, the white party. You might want to. Wait a minute, what's the name of it? Outfit. Got the look bling bling on top of it. Yeah, I need that. I need one of them for uh for, 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 sa- for Friday night. Look. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. It's here. Right here. I ship it to you. Oh, uh, here you go. Here. Or you can get the uh you know, you got that silver gray outfit on. You know, you got oh, yeah. that silver. You did. Oh yeah, that's hot. Okay. You know, with some crown right. stars on them, you know. Chi-town. With the Shy Town. You dig. Dig that. That's fly that's right the sweet there. curling. That's the work of sweet curling. <laughs> you know, that's the sweet show and the other gray one curling. Yeah, if, if your lady wanna be bling bling all out with diamonds, there you go. Okay. All right, y'all, y'all see them on here. Y'all see them. They here, they live. Y'all get your orders in. Get your get your get your steppers cup. You so when you go to the you spot, you go to the club, you got your own glass. You ain't got to worry about them dirty glasses in the club. Oh, yeah. You take yours with you. Get take your fly. With- Fly velvet you know, bag. Um, you never know what you're drinking out of. That's and right. A lot of people came and told me the glasses are real nasty in some of these places. So well, it's true. <laughs> she ain't no need. That's why a lot of people won't take their own glass now. Yeah, it's well, definitely you know, more sanitary. A lot sanitary. of us Midwesters come in, you know, especially here in Vegas. Even if you're on the strip, you know, all the casinos, they got their own special glasses. Sure you can walk well, down you know, the strip with a big old thing, you know, and get out for your get out to any of these casinos in Las Vegas. Here. Yeah, well, you, the, the 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 history of those glasses, though, I, it goes way back now. Because I so do good. remember back in the day where you'd be up at the Godfather or Sweet yep, George yep. Brown oh, yeah. or one of the spots back in the day, uh, yep. and they have the your glass hanging up off to the side. When yep. you was ready for it, they pulled your glass down, yep. made sure it was clean, and served you your drink so in did. your glass. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. I remember them days. I remember oh, them days. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, see, well, watch this, though. I'm going to really get you on this one. Uh-oh. <laughs> man, you forgot about them exotic cakes and all that good stuff, man. The exotic Come on, cakes. Man, you're out the shop. Oh. <laughs> Hey man, <laughs> I, I would be quiet on that though. That you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> All right, don't be messy. Uh, anyway, <laughs> uh, so yeah, yeah, man, that that so that's a that's a swinging little business y'all got there, man. I like that, and that's that's another thing. One of the things about the Steppers community that I also want to touch on, we have a enormous amount of very talented individuals people with crafts, people with businesses, people with all yes. sorts of talents and skills within mm-hmm. these stepping walls. And I think that we would do ourselves a great service to support one another in these businesses. And so, ladies and gentlemen, just keep in mind that when you are ready for your your own personal private custom glass or for your drinks and things when you travel around to these sets, y'all holler at my man. Holler at Super Dave and Sweet Carolyn and get it in, y'all, and get you one of these badass glasses, cause I'm sure gonna get me one, and uh, have them on deck. Get them, get, oh, get yeah. them ready. Oh yeah. yeah, and I do other things too. I do, you know, I, I design gym shoes and different things. Bling bling. Well, I can bling bling your shoes out, your purses, uh, and anything else you want. I, I, I want both of y'all to get back in the camera though, because I got the side oh, yeah. of both of y'all's head. <laughs> said, what did oh, you yeah. turn it did turn it down just a little bit? Um, okay, but now Carolyn, if I remember correctly, the last time I saw you, you had on a pair of badass glasses, and you told me you made those. The glasses they had the they had the the, the bling bling. They were like they had the, the the V's on the bottom. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you yeah talking about some sharp ass glasses. glasses. They're so so you... they they like eyelash glasses. Yeah. They, you only okay. wear them, you wear them because you have an eyelash. Oh, see, I never. I wish you had them right now so we could show everybody. Yeah, I see what you're saying. So I y'all listen. These two go. Would you please? These oh, two yeah, right man. here, y'all are about that life. They are part of that. That they accessorize your gear for these stepper sets, y'all. You need oh, yeah, to, you, you have to. Yeah, you got that. Look, people don't be understanding them accessories. You got to have accessories, you understand? You got to oh, yeah. be ready. Well, you know, you, you know, that's just, like I said, you know, it's part of the fashion, man. And that's the one thing that's been competitive for us, you know, in the stepping game. You know, mm-hmm. the fashion and the shoes in the game has always been a major role in it. You know, growing okay. up in high school and, you know, all that out the years. 
dig it. Uh, you know, do me a favor, man. Pull, br- bring your camera down just a little bit so we can see your face more. We got, we see uh, yeah, a part that's of your me, face. man. I'm yeah, just sitting back. Okay. okay. I'm a there you, bit, go. you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. But, uh, definitely, are... but I can tell you, you know, the fashion has always been the play for the step yeah, Whether no doubt. That's part. It's part of the. It's part of the culture. It's ingrained it's in us, like a, like the thread is, that is made from. Uh, well, so, you know, the fortunate part for us, you know, like I said, man, in high school, man, to see all that man going to school, man, that was, you know, that was pretty fast. Yeah, no doubt, it, it was. Look, let me ask you something. I got here a go question. Here go the glasses. Here go the glasses right here. Come on, Kelly. Okay. Get to the camera, Kelly. Yeah, yeah. Come on, Carolyn. Well, okay, there you go. Now, Carolyn, uh, put put them on so we can get a demonstration on, of what that what them look like. So, ladies, these glasses, if you got eyelashes on and you don't want to uh-huh. mess up your eyelashes and you want to stay fly, you wear these glasses right here. Yeah, I like those. Them some bad ass. Okay. Oh, and oh, round at the bottom. Okay, dig that. And I got Real the, v, this the V cut, okay. and I also I also do the shoes. You got the shoes right here. Okay, so because so see, look here, hold here, hold them up, hold them up so we can see them. Hold them all the way up. There you go. Okay, turn them. Okay, yeah. So you go to the next piece. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, now for y'all, y'all want them fly accessories, that custom stuff. Go ahead, put them up there. Turn them to the side just a little bit and and back up. Yeah, there you go, so we can get a good view. Okay, yeah. Okay, so y'all want them custom accessories, them one of a kind pieces to go with your outfit when you go to these stepper sets. Because let's face it, y'all, you're gonna spend money when you buy your clothes to go to the stepper set. You want that one off piece that you know ain't nobody else gonna have. Y'all need to holler at Dave and Carolyn. And let me tell you something. And it's funny, too, because I, I can't count how many times. I don't know if – look, I'm going to tell y'all a little story. I'm going to tell y'all a funny story right quick that happened to me while we was in Vegas, right? <laughs> so the night – I believe it was the Saturday night the, 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 where everybody was wearing the dashikis, right? Well, yeah. my wife had – she ordered me a couple of dashikis. So the one that I wanted, she told me, she said – don't get that. Everybody going to have that. I was like, nah. So we get there. It was early. And I'm sitting there. And I got it on. And I'm looking around the room because I had on all black. And I'm looking right. around the room. And I seen about two other people almost immediately coming to the door with it on. See, See, don't nobody know this. I'm telling, I'm telling y'all this for the first time. It's the first time anybody <laughs> in, this, in this whole audience know what's happening. <laughs> I dipped out the back door <laughs> right there where the freight elevator was, and I jumped on that joker, and I went back to the hotel, and I changed my outfit. I put on all white, and I came back. See, don't nobody nobody ever saw me in the black outfit. I peeped right. them, and I ran right. out. Nobody saw me. I, didn't, <laughs> I dipped out. So I'm saying that to say, when you want to be different, y'all, you got to lay up there, and you got to get custom stuff like Dave and Carolyn got for y'all. That's what you got to do. You got to have that stuff that ain't nobody, you ain't going to see nobody else rocking it. There I remember go. one time I found a jacket I wanted. I was like, man, this jacket is fly. It was a, it was a suit jacket I was going to wear. Oh, yeah. And I said, no, nah, I bet not. This jacket look like it. I bet three other people going to have it. Sure enough, I went to an event and two other people had it on. I was like, see, see no. Nah. And I, see, I used to not buy off the rack. It's been a long time since I've been able to, yeah. you know, find me a good tailor and somebody to cut my stuff. Now, I make my, I used to make my own clothes, and I'm trying to get off my lazy tail and get right. back to that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I be busy doing so many other things. That's what it's all about, though, man. You know? Yeah, I know. I know. But I got so much other stuff going on. Between this show and everything else I got going on, y'all, man, I be busy. So, you know. I need to pay somebody else to do it and be through with it. There you go. There you go. You got to go back to the original times, Got to go back to the... That's right. I got to get back to the times when, you know what I'm saying, it was the only That's part of our culture, though. Like I say, I say it on this show, too. Like I said on your other show. Yes, man. It'll never be another generation like our stepmother. Ooh, man. Say that again, please, for the people in the back. It'll never be another generation like our stepmother. I agree. Never. I, I got to agree with that. Because we had our own style. Yeah. Yeah. And it wasn't about looking like nobody else. It wasn't like being about nope. no, being it like nobody about else. It was good time to going man. out. 
you don't work yep. all day, you want to go out and release the pressure, you just yep. have fun. That's it. You're absolutely you know, correct. It's fun. And it's all about the love moment. Yeah. Keep the game with the love, man. The way I agree. Life. And, and, <laughs> after, and look, after all the pressures of the day and the nonsense and the BS, you got a chance to get your dance on and get your row out, and that was that's that. Right. Without go. the politics, without the nonsense, without the Ooh, disrespect, that's right. and 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 that was it. You absolutely correct. No, I no agree. clicks, no bickering, no nothing. Yeah. Get None out before you get out, cause everybody hugs each other. Yeah. 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 No boycotting or nothing. No boycotting or telling nobody <laughs> don't, not to do this or that. Right. We don't go to the ASAP. <laughs> That's right. And you got there. And that's right. And if you had a problem with somebody, you stay your ass on the other side of the room and leave it alone. And support every party. No matter if they was mad at you or not, we still gonna support their party. Nah, that's right. And if you time in that bitch with nigga, especially in the fort, nigga, you ain't wanna see that fire escape in the back. (laughs) Cause ain't ain't no ain't no emergency fire escape, nigga. You going in a puddle of (laughs) glass. So you definitely didn't want that smoke, see? That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Well. But uh, I hopefully it'll get back. I hopefully they can work on it and they can get like that because we older. These older are doing stepping now. It ain't about clicking. It's about get out for your get out. Some of these older people are way more uh, immature than some of these young folks, y'all. Let's just keep it yeah. one hundred. Yeah. Yeah. They, they, it's they, sad. It's sad. It's, it's sad silly because folks. Uh, we learned how to dance at twelve years old. Exactly. And we were very mature. Exactly. That, and that's she that's how I came up. So. And, uh, world largest dancers. Nigga, you mm-hmm. lost this year. Nigga, work on next year. Nah. Come back. That's it. And keep a smile on your face and walk keep away and come on, on back and face, try it again. Man. That's right. Hold your head up. But see, you know, it's just we, a dance. We, we, we what you call legacy steppers, though. We're the ones who got it from our family. We got it from our friends. We got it by watching. Yes. We got it by doing our thing. Right. You know, nowadays, a lot of people get it by spending a lot of money and having to, you know, go through a bunch of changes. And I think that the fact that we got the dance out of love more than anything else make a big Bingo. difference in the way we treat the dance. So right. that's the way we treat it. The way we treat it. And, you know, yeah. one thing about us, you know, everybody hugs each other all the time, man, and stay right. in the group. Right. You know, and that's what the game is all about. Yeah. Um, now, I got a question from somebody on here. What high schools did y'all go to? Calumet. Hey, right over on 81st. That's yeah. right. <laughs> what You went there too, Carolyn? Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Oh, man. Okay. All right. All yes. right. Y'all I over sure there off the nine. I feel you. Yeah. I used to carry our books. I used to walk off. I used to carry our books all the way from 81st to 769 to uh, Damon. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, you was in love back then, wasn't it? Yeah, I was 16. <laughs> Look, you, you've been stuck a long time. Doggone it. How many years y'all been together, man? That's what? Doggone. 32 years now. That's all but, right, But, you know, man. we got married later in life, but, you know, we know we've know right. been around each other since we were 16. That's all right. It don't matter. You did the right thing. Shoot. That's mm-hmm. a beautiful thing right there. That we look, to, man. We, look, people, we, we we used to step all in the stores. That's how populated it was in Chicago back in the day. In high school, we at what on was our, that? On our lunch break, on the lunch break, we're going to stores and stuff. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Look, I went to CVS. I know. So you know. I remember. <laughs> look, I guess. I, it's it's so much stuff, man. You know, and it, when it comes to this dance, there are people out here, and this is part of the reason why I why I'm so adamant about doing these shows. There are people who truly do not understand the depth to which we went in order to do this dance, and 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 the dues right. that a lot of people paid, and and the, the the some of the stuff that people went through to even be where they are, and that's why you know I get a lot of older people in that are from you know uh, uh, our generation, the generations before us, who don't sometimes want to speak because they got a lot of. You know, I don't want to call it bitterness, but they they sometimes are aggravated with where things yeah. are and the fact that there so much has been lost in all of this right. time that yeah. they would love to see back. But of course, you know, we 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 know nothing is coming back, but we would like to see oh, it no. going in a positive direction. And I think, and I'm man, listen, I thank y'all for coming on here today and um, oh. helping us to. See the positivity oh, in it and with all of the years yeah. y'all got in the game. My man Casper just popped on. He said, Hello, y'all. Uh, what up, Casper? And 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 that that's another dude that surprised the hell out of me. I've been knowing yeah. Casper for a lot of years. I've been I've been knowing that dude. Know? 
close to 30 he, he years now. He wanted on a pass, Kate. Yeah. He did, but he, he, he get out before he get out. He can dance, he can go. <laughs> but, but, but even goes. some of the stuff that me and him talk about and some of the stories that he tell me, it shocks me yeah. because I'm like, damn. You know, but you know, stuff Cass that, would go way back. I know. He's go way know. back. Yep. I know. Cass would go all the way back, too. Man. But the game is originated on your feet, not a past case. Ooh. You did? <laughs> well, nah. Uh, uh, while that's true, <laughs> we all know that no, most of us steppers is also on skaters. Feet, not a past case. Hey, I, I hear that you. was the element that took it out of the stepping game when hey. they started letting you dance and all that entertainment shit. It's about dancing on your feet, not a past skate. But now some of a lot of us, a lot of us uh, steppers cut our cut our teeth in them skating rinks. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. You know, because oh, yeah, I was a, I used to stay up the in the game. Has always been a separate thing though. When they get out for the get out, man, <laughs> keep it real. Oh no doubt. <laughs> Uh, so now keep it on the floor, man. Keep it on the wood like it's supposed to be. Before we before we close out, I got I got a question, um, just handed to me. Uh, first, I want y'all to do you have any dates for anything y'all got coming up or anything happening uh, in Vegas? Oh well, you know when I appear on your show, I get you, you know. But right now, as the community growing, yeah. as it goes right now. You know, Vegas is a week-to-week -week thing with all the organizations that's getting down in Vegas, from the Stepping okay. Cats. I mean, you got them all. Tony Hearns, your Universal. You got all these guys here that's on a week-to-week -week basis thing here that's going okay. to the 3 So, so y'all heard that when you go out to Vegas and if you there on a Thursday night, make sure you hit the oh, SNS yeah. saloon, go through there and holler at my man Tony Hearns and hang out with him for a minute. Um, yeah. Let me also, let me give my man Quake Styles a shout-out. He just popped in here, my Earth man Quake. Quake. Earthquake and Holland. He in popped the in on us. Yeah. from the dungeon. Yes, sir. Original Earthquake. Um, uh, Super Dave Casper said, when have you known me? When have you known for me not to be cold on my feet? <laughs> you was always cold. We never said you wasn't cold on your feet. You get out. But we were saying that the game was not originated from a pair of skates. Y'all, <laughs> y'all ain't gonna start nothing on my show. That's <laughs> a real cold. We love how he's oh, hey, You already yeah, know. Man. He, he still get out for here. Oh, and by the way, I'm telling. I'm gonna tell y'all. I'm gonna tell y'all right now. Y'all need to try as hard as you can. I don't know what y'all got up for October, but we all gonna be here in Houston, Texas. Oh. Uh. For uh, uh, Texas Heat, y'all really should try to make that. I'm telling okay. you, Cass are gonna be here. All it's gonna be it's gonna be off the chain. I'm telling you okay. now, y'all need to try to make it for that's Nike's event. Um, okay. Now I got this last question, y'all, before we go. Okay. And I want both of you to answer this in your own words. Do you have any advice that you would like to give for the future steppers? and what you would like to see moving forward? Well, I would love to see is that, like I said, one, you know, hold your head up, stay focused, concentrate, practice, mm -hmm. you know, stay in your, you know, even if you're private to yourself, man, you know, keep in your mind mentally. Get a great imagination of the dance. Mm -hmm. You know, imagination is important because you can vision things in your mind to see what those moves are and what they do. You see? Mm -hmm. So, and, you know, work out with your partner, man, and take the time out. So you got to understand, see, what people, you know, even in our days when we were singing group, you practice on your steps, even as you, if you look at that person that was with that group. Yeah. And they go through those songs and beat for beats. You know, you practice those beats in a certain part of the songs. And very most important, stay on your timing to focus on your timing and get a good timing about the dance. Mm -hmm. Not okay. as far, but stay smooth, you know, and you don't have to be as flexed because today's dancing is more of a romance dance than a fast dance anyway. But Absolutely. just stay with the up tempo of the beat, you know, and, and stay focused and stay sharp with the game. Okay, my man. Carolyn, you got the last word, my dear. I think that uh, we need more men's on the floor. Nah. <laughs> That's what I think. We need to be more men's. It's too many ladies out here. This is a lady bird stepping party. Mm hmm Okay. Well, that was very direct and to the point. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> For um, real. Carolyn and Dave, listen, 
I appreciate y'all very much for coming on and hanging out with me. We are going to do this again um, in the future. Oh, yeah. So for everybody out there who wants to, would like to get their hands on one of Dave and Carolyn's cups, uh, glasses, their custom cups and glasses, some stepper cups, y'all holler at us, and we will make sure that Sweet Carolyn gets your order. We will make sure that you are in touch with uh, them to make sure that, you know, you get what you want from them and you get your custom piece made for yourself uh, to match your outfit if you just got it like that. And... Um, Otherwise, man, listen, y'all have been great. Uh, I can't ask for anything else from you, man. You, you, you've been, you've been a real solid dude, man, and I and I appreciate you, both of y'all. But I give a special shout out to all the guys, including Casper too, man. We love you too, Casper. <laughs> Just part of the game, you did. <laughs> You got to get Casper a hard time, you know. Casper, <laughs> <laughs> know we love you. Uh huh. So, uh, all right. So, look, thanks, y'all. I appreciate you. We're going to close out the show. Yes, and sir. I want y'all to have yourselves a wonderful evening. We're going to talk again real soon. Oh, yeah. Chop hey. it up. And I'm going to put my order in for my cup. How about that? <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. All right. All right, all right. Y'all have a good Peace night. Peace. 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 Yep. There you go, bro. <laughs> all right, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. My man, Super Dave. I call him Super Duper Dave. Out of Las Vegas by way of Chicago, one of Chicago's own original legendary steppers and definitely a legend in Las Vegas because he's one of the people who helped bring the game to the city and has been a part of making sure that it remains in its proper perspective and to help others to embrace what we do and love so much around the country and especially from where we're from. So with all of that said, I want to say that I appreciate each and every one of y'all for coming and hanging out with me and um, speaking with uh, Dave and Carolyn. And man, ladies, don't forget what I said. We're coming into white season where there will be white parties and there will be um, all of these different things. Uh-oh, uh Casper wants to come in. Let me see if we can get Casper on here. <clears throat> Let's see. Let's see. If we can get him. Yeah, I'm about to right now. Let's see. I'm going to try to get him in here. Let me get this. Uh, what's wrong? Oh, okay. Casper, you hold tight. We're going we gonna to bring you on in here. Uh-oh. Yeah, we done. Uh-oh. Wait a minute. Just hold tight. I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to uh, bring you in one second. Casper, I'm getting ready to send you a link on Messenger. I want you to respond to that link. <clears throat> uh, Lala, say who is Casper? Lala, Lala, you about to find out who Casper is. In one minute. Just as soon as I can get him on here. Because we definitely want to talk to Mr. Perry. Okay, wait a minute. Doggone it. All right. Y'all got to bear with me for a second. Matter of fact, Casper, do this. Hit, hit my messenger right now. That's what you do. Hit my messenger, and I'm going to wait for you. We're going we gonna, to we gonna hold out while we wait on you. Go ahead and hit my messenger right this minute. Um, so anyway, y'all, in the meantime, I want to say that uh, I'm thankful for the people like uh, Super Dave and his wife that come in and give us a little bit of the game, you know what I'm saying, from back in the day and help us to uh, understand what we need to understand as far as what the stepping game is and was and has been for a very long time. Casper, I'm hitting you right now. We got a person, uh, my girl Lala on here, she say, who is Casper? Lala, you getting ready to find out. I think you're going to be a little surprised, Lala, when I tell you who Casper is. Uh, Hold tight. There you are, sir. Let's bring you right on in. Ladies and gentlemen, we have Mr. Casper Perry. Let me change this. Let me sweat. Let me turn that off. All right. Uh, Mr. Perry, how are you today, sir? I'm good. What's going on? Man, going on? I can't call it, baby. It's good to see you, man. Uh, like always, sir, it's always, it's always a pleasure 
when I get the opportunity to chop it up with you. <laughs> yeah, I popped in on y'all and saw Super yeah. Dave talking, talking <laughs> about stuff. You know, I say, yeah, Super Dave, okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So how's it going What's over going there, man? What you, what you up to? You, you, you in the shot yeah. right now? Yeah, I'm in the shot sitting back in the office, man, just watching some uh, – watching the NBA finals. That's, I okay. mean, the NBA okay. yeah, playoffs. Now, and, uh, now, hold on. Before hold on. Before you go, before you go further, let me let me let me let me make you laugh right quick. Um, so Lala Harris, who is out of Houston, she okay. said first she said, "Who is Casper?" And I All told right. her I was going to let her know. And then she said, "Casper, the friendly stepper." <laughs> I like that. Have anybody ever called you that before, <laughs> Casper? Man, the friendly I didn't call. I didn't be called everything, even late for dinner, man. <laughs> okay, so Lala, this is Casper Perry, the originator the creator of the cha-cha slide. Now, do you know who Casper Perry is now? <laughs> Man, let me tell you. I don't know if – have I talked to you since we was in uh, Phoenix last month? I don't think I have. Listen, let me tell you, man, I thoroughly enjoyed your live call of the slide on the floor. Man, I love that. I've hey, been knowing bro. you all this time, and I don't care how long I've been knowing you – I still enjoyed the hell out of that. Like I was like I was like it was brand new to me. See? Hey man, <laughs> I just like to have fun. Wherever I'm at, man. I mean, you gotta always do something different, man, to keep the people coming back. Just have fun Absolutely. with your life, man. Absolutely. Just have fun with your life. Do whatever you whatever makes you happy, that's what you it should be done. Now that part right there, I agree one hundred percent with. You know, More people need to adopt that philosophy. I mean, I've been I've been stepping, man, for over fifty something years, man. Yep. I've, I've been skating just as long since I was two. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've been DJing since I was what eleven. Mm-hmm. So all the stuff that I do, man, it, it's just repeating itself right now, but it's repeating itself with other people. But when you when you enjoying yourself in what you do, mm-hmm. just keep that focus. You can't your 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 life can't revolve around the things that other people do. Now, a lot of you people live people, like that though. You let people do them. It's not it, you would never hear me go up to nobody that step mm-hmm. or any of that and say you can't step. <laughs> and that's and you know what? No no matter how many contests I didn't won and all this other stuff and mm-hmm. this that and the other because a person do it the way they do it. That's why it's different names. You well, got you, you, you really have to drive that home, though. And here's why. See, first of all, okay, you mentioned you've been stepping 50 years. You know, one thing, Casper, that uh, I, that even, even shocked me, I ain't going to lie, last year when we were sitting around running our mouth at Texas uh-huh. Heat and we got to talking about your age, I did not right. realize, I knew you was older than me, but I just did. I didn't realize your actual age. I ain't gonna put you out there. But I'm just right, saying. Right, because a lot of people don't know how my actual age. But and they yeah. know that I've been out there for a long time. And that's number one. The other thing is, what you just said about the doing you and being original about the way you do things. I work hard to drive home the point on this show about people understanding who they are making the dance theirs and being a part of the dance on that level rather than trying to fit into a box or or fit into this fit a fit a a square peg in a round hole do you look man hey bro i've been me since i've been stepping right you know just like dave came on and said stepping ain't not created for skaters for the skates (laughs) <laughs> Not true. Stephen is, is Stephen is put out for people to create the dance the way they feel like they want to do it. Now, I, I agree with that. Now, check this out. I won the world's largest steppers contest freestyle category ten years straight. Mm-hmm. I didn't have skates on every 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 year. Right. I think he was just being funny. <laughs> no, that's my man. Dave is my man. Yeah. Dave, my man. But I'm just saying, so, but I don't want people to get that twisted. Because, mm-hmm. you know, we having fun with it, joking about it. Other people be like, what? He won on skates? That ain't stepping. So, you know, you have to put it out there and let people know. 
you know, what I was, what I've done in in my years of of contests and all this other stuff, bro, is enjoy myself. Now, more than anything that's else, how, that's how I won. Me and my partner enjoyed each other and enjoyed and put on the show. Mm-hmm. You know, for me jumping on my sister's back, from <laughs> Weasel pulling out a skateboard and all this, that was fun, man. Back then, right? right. We had fun doing it, so it didn't matter to me who won or who lost. I had, I was having fun. Mm-hmm. See, and when more people start having fun at this dance, mm-hmm. they're gonna forget all about the the craziness part of it. Right. You got to have fun though. Uh, don't 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 worry about me with this fork, y'all. I'm just I'm eating steak. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Oh man, you you never cease to amaze, brother. Um, so, as a matter of fact, I'm I'm looking forward to um, my future conversation with the gentleman you uh, we talked to last week. I believe it was. Um, I'm sitting here now. I'm recalling, right? Because <laughs> um, I, I really am interested in having him on the show. I ain't gonna say I ain't gonna say no names because it's gonna be a surprise. Because we gonna we gonna do that upcoming show um, and talk about the, these events. Um, but man, look, uh, you and I need to sit down and have a, a, a one-on-one, uh, conversation about the game and with, well, I mean, hell you here now. What the hell, man? Uh, you know, what? Me, I, I, I tuned into your show yesterday when you had Tori and all them. Uh, yeah. You were talking yeah. About the Dominique was supposed to be on with us too. He couldn't get in for some reason. Yeah. Right. I was sitting there. I, I, I didn't, I didn't really say nothing. I was just sitting there. Mm-hmm. And like people don't, people feel like what they really don't know mm-hmm. is when we used to skate back in the days of the Savoy. Oh man, and, the Savoy, and Savoy. 79th and Cottage Grove, baby. Look, when we used to skate back then, we did more stepping back then in the skating ring. Yes, sir. Yes, then they do did. it. Step with that. Yes, sir. I, you so, are absolutely 100% correct. I mean, people got to understand all this stuff goes hand in hand. Yep. I it didn't does. just start. I didn't just start to skate. I didn't just start skating. I didn't just start stepping. Right. So I mean, everybody talk about the dungeon. They talk about all these other places. Mm-hmm. What about places before the dungeon? Times Square. <laughs> what about uh, right? What about the garage? All these places, you know. Well, see, you, you again, see, see, this is this is the part where you tell your age, see, because a lot of them cats, you got to remember, and this is something uh, that is will forever be true. And a lot of people don't really understand this. Most of the people who came up stepping in the early 70s were actually teenagers who started the stepping, stepping, the original stepping that we're familiar with now. And most of them couldn't even get in some of the places prior to that like what you're talking about so right. and these are so, people who are now old who well i, I don't want to use the word old because hell that, that make me old but but now these people are you know up in upper ages and we they can talk about those times but the fact is people need to remember that the stuff they were doing athletically in the dance was because they were young and they could do those things and now it just ain't that easy and and and, and my whole thing about it is Whatever a person did to have fun, mm-hmm. I was one of the people to encourage, hey, keep doing what you're doing. Mm-hmm. Keep doing what you're doing. Create this dance around you. That part. I mean, a lot of people, a lot of people, we know where it started at. We ain't got to be, we, if, if you know where it started at, you ain't got to keep reminding yourself. Mm-hmm. But a lot of people that started the dance here has moved on to other places. Yeah. Lots of them. Like Super Dave. I mean, look, he's out in Vegas. Right. So, I mean, for, for somebody to to give it to somebody, and, uh, you know, when I, when I, I, just like me and you were talking last time, and I mm-hmm. told you, I was one of the first, first people I hit instructed stepping. Mm-hmm. And I, I, I instructed the six count, and check this out. It was free. Woo. Say that part again. It was what? (laughs) It it was free. I didn't charge nobody because that's the love I got for the dance. Right. 
All right. That's right. Right now it's a hustle. It's a hustle now. But hey, if the people want to fall into a hustle, all these people from all over the country, mm -hmm. different cities, know the hustle game. Man. Especially the ones from yeah, Chicago. Yeah. Now, check this out. <laughs> now, if you want to be hustled and stay as a beginner stepper, as you all call it, mm -hmm. okay, and stay in class for Ten three years. months, <laughs> shit. Doing, doing basic steps, do you. Mm -hmm. I ain't going to knock the hustle. But I'm going to tell you, like I, tell, like I told people in my class, from Dre to Max, uh, to Max V, mm -hmm. all of them. I told them, I'm not. I don't charge you to, to show you this, but I can't teach you how to dance like me. I can teach you the dance and let you surround what you got around that dance. Mm -hmm. That's okay? a gym right there. Y'all got that? That's a gym. You better pick if that people up. People don't understand. You can't teach the dance. Mm -hmm. You can just teach the basic step. Mm -hmm. And let people create around that. And the dance belongs to them. The dance belongs to you. Mm -hmm. When you get finished. It don't, no one owns that dance. Man. And if anybody want to wanna talk about it, hey, I'm willing to sit and talk. Tell me how you own it. Nah. There's a guy running around here talking about he owned the name Step and How? <laughs> how you do that? Right. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, so my thing, bro, I I let people say what they say, and I sit back and listen. But if you want to know the truth, let's talk. If you want to know the truth, let's talk. That's everything right. that I'm telling you, mostly everything that I'm telling you, I got documented on video. Speaking of which, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to raid your stash, bro. <laughs> bro, y'all come to Chicago. When you come over here, you you ain't gonna leave. See. I may not. Shit. <laughs> but once you start watching one stepper's video, mm -hmm. I got a video from 1967. Ooh, man. With a man called, and, and all the steppers know him, his name is Old Man Banks. Hmm. Okay. Check that out. What? All the steppers in Chicago know him. Mm hmm. I studied them to a T, and I used to go out to the clubs and dance just like them. People used to laugh. They said, hey, man, do it over on Banks again. <laughs> That's funny. Bro, I'm telling you, I've been in this game for a minute, man. Yeah. Well, but here's the thing, though, Casper, and this is why it's so important that we had these conversations and why people like you come on this show and be able to talk to me and these people is because, number one, ain't none of us getting no younger. And what I don't want to see is for us to take this game to our grave without giving back to those who are about to carry it forward. We got a place. We got to hand it off. It got to be the ball. Got to be put in the hands of the young ones that's ready like to I take this game you, to the next level. You are you are controlling your show. Yeah. If you need a life like a lifeline, call me. That's right. Just just like I'm sitting here now, and I and I got this turned here. Mm -hmm. I can always flip it to the television. <laughs> and play a video see there? Where everybody can see it. Uh-huh. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And say, that's what that was. My right. thing is, bro. I'm your I don't think I don't think there's nobody out there that can really say Casper don't know what he's talking about. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna happen. I don't I don't see that I don't see that uh uh coming to pass. <laughs> you know. And what I and one thing I do it, know about you, you got a you got a certain level of integrity. I know one thing you ain't gonna do is lie about nothing. So it ain't nothing they gonna be able to say that you going that ain't right. And not only that, not only that, they know I've been been out here in this game. They know I didn't put in work. They know I didn't pay my dues. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's why I don't get into confrontation with people. Right. Why should I? You ain't got I? nothing to prove. Why should I? Yeah, that's Dre, one of Super Dre, Dave's mantras. He like, I ain't got nothing to prove. He'll tell you straight uh, out. Raymond yeah. told me, they say, Casper, why is there so many haters out here? Hmm. I say, bro, just do you. Let them hate you all the way to the bank, man. Now, nah, that part right there. 
new you. Eventually, they're going to fade away from that hate. They don't have when no Bobby choice. Dogo, they can't keep it up Bobby forever. Bobby Doggo was right today. Dre got the most respect from a lot of these steppers. Mm -hmm. No doubt. Oh, yeah. No doubt. Absolutely. I used to sit what's... back there and watch Black Mary, one of the coldest walkers that danced with our bullet. Mm -hmm. Bro, back in the days, I used to sit back and watch them. Mm -hmm. You know, I took what I saw them do and added me into it. There you go. I mean, well, I'm glad you. I'm glad you're saying this, man, because I I stress to people all the time. I think I think what amazes me because I was resistant of learning the what is now considered new school part of the dance for a long time, um, because I was so I guess rooted in what I knew the dance to be and what. I believed in being able to be an individual within the dance. And I watch people, I watch instructors and others tell people that they're doing this wrong or that wrong. And it kind of trips me out. And sometimes I don't know how to feel about it. You know, you know what I, I don't do? Mm -hmm. I don't go in other instructors' class. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to tell you why. Because if I know that they're telling and teaching people stuff that is not right. Mm -hmm. I'm going to leave anyway. <laughs> right. And you if you you from where I'm from, we don't knock nobody hustle. All right, that's how you I'm get down. Go on, get because down. a person God gave everybody sense, common sense. Mm -hmm. Now you have to use your common sense when it comes to that. Mm -hmm. Ain't nobody going in your pocket saying, "Give me this money right here." Mm -hmm. Okay? Guess how I learned how to how to step. Hmm. <laughs> uh, old fashioned way. <laughs> with a chair, my brother. Uh -huh. With a chair. Yeah, I don't know if you've seen me at Pete's footwork competition that he had a few years back. Oh yeah, I covered it. And I was just I was just doing some stuff and I had a chair. Mm -hmm. And I did a move and I sat down. Cause I was really tired. <laughs> But, that part right there. <laughs> but my thing is, you take that and you use it to your best of ability. Mm -hmm. You're tired and then sit down and do some footwork. It's the same right. footwork you're doing if you're standing up. You just ain't able to stand like you used <laughs> Yeah, that's true. People ask me to this day, Casper, can you still skate? Yes. Mm -hmm. Casper, do you still skate? No. <laughs> can you and do you is two different things <laughs> right why don't you still skate because my bones don't heal like Man. the young people bones heal no more yeah buddy if I fall and hurt myself I can't even go out and just got slide for the people right you out of commission for a minute you see what I'm saying so why put myself in that situation to mm -hmm. prove anything I can't matter of fact good example Texas Heat last year. Yep. <laughs> I tried to do some. Of, I tried to do some of the stuff I used to do in the contest. Couldn't get up. Everybody had to help me up. Yeah, I remember. I was there. I was standing right there. <laughs> and, and, and I don't care about that because hey, I know what I and, what I've done. And guess what? Well, I don't give a damn what you did. We had a whole lot of fun that weekend. And we gonna have fun. <laughs> we gonna have fun. We show up. up. Yes, sir. We sure are. I, I'm looking forward to it. I can't wait. I already know that I can't do the stuff I did 20 years ago. Right. I already know I can't do some of the stuff that I did 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. And that's because of my health conditions. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, no one in this world besides God can take away from me what I've already put noted. That's right. You got your you you done made your marks, brother. That's for sure. And, and that's what I want everybody that's out there stepping to remember. Nobody can take away from you what you've already done. If you're a legend, you don't have to call yourself a legend. The other people are already doing it. That's right. And if they're not doing it, you know. There you go. <laughs> you got it. Well, that part right there. And I don't I don't go and compete there. Oh, I'm a legend. I'm this. I'm that. No, I'm Casper. And everything that I've accomplished through God 
none of you all can take it away from me. That part. That that's done. None, it's in the books, baby. What you say you hear, none of y'all can take it away from me. Mm-hmm. Now, that's if push come to shove, I work out a little bit and I give you two minutes of ass whooping. <laughs> on the couple nah. <laughs> Say two that good part. minutes. <laughs> two good minutes. Uh that by part. the way, you do know that uh this year in uh at Texas Heat, well actually in the world's largest also, they're doing a man on man uh in both events. That's lovely. I know yeah. about the the, the, the uh, one in Texas Heat. The one uh, in the world's largest, mm-hmm. it's gonna be what it's gonna be. Mm. But I know about the one in Texas East because I'm going to give them the rules for it. There you go. And watch this. I'm going to make sure it's ran the way it's supposed to be ran. Now, none of that no BS. One, no, no one is coming to win off their name. Mm-hmm. If you ain't doing what you're supposed to do, guarantee you, I'm going to say something. Mm-hmm. And tell you why. Come on, be, be, stop trying to use these contests to pay bills, y'all. Woo. You just stepped on some toes. Boy, it's going to be some so feet out here. <laughs> because it ain't going to happen. If, you, if you're trying to use these contests to pay bills, it ain't going to happen. Because uh-uh. you're not guaranteed to win everything you get into. Mm-mm. Boy, you stepping on some toes right now. Woo. <laughs> but you're right. Get out here. Get out here and enjoy yourself at these contests and have some fun. Well, and you know what? And I'm, and I'm glad you said that because that, to me, is one of the more important elements of these competitions. And I think what a lot of people don't know that's newer to the stepping game, and I'm talking, you know, 10, 20 years, or some of those who are not aware. But like you said, you know, back in the day, people didn't practice for these events. They didn't do all of this stuff that these people that people do now to compete and it was still I, I I would even venture to say that the competition back in the day was probably harder and you saw colder steppers than you do today with all the practice. Oh check this out though. It's totally much different. A lot of these people that's in this contest probably wouldn't have made it hmm. back then. Nah. Because back then they took fifty couples Mm-hmm. And you had to qualify. Everybody didn't go to the finals. Right. You had to qualify. If you didn't qualify in those 50 couples, see you next year. Right. So it was a little bit harder when we was doing the contest. So my thing is, get out here and enjoy yourself. Mm-hmm. Make it fun. Because the funner you make it, the more you're going to enjoy the dance. The harder you make it, where you have to pay a bill, you gonna always a lot come of to pressure. dance with attitude. That's a lot of pressure. <laughs> pressure well, make you bust a pipe, attitude. baby. <laughs> I say pressure and make you bust a pipe. You, <laughs> guarantee you, the years I didn't put in, I don't have to have an attitude. See, I just do me. I come out and have fun. I come out and watch a lot of people when I when I came to um, Phoenix. I came down there. A mm-hmm. lot of people didn't know who I was because. My thing was to just get in and just look at people, see what right. they were doing. You see what I'm saying? I don't go around, hey, I'm Casper, I'm from Chicago, I made this, I did. Right. I don't do that. Even with the chop chop slide, I don't do that. Right. You know? And they still playing that song like it's brand new today. Oh, absolutely. I think I just played the other day. <laughs> Myself. Right. <laughs> well, it's in a lot of it's in a lot of Disney shows, you know, turning red and Hotel oh, yeah. Transylvania. Yeah, that's right. a lot of, but my thing is, I don't have to go around telling people that. And believe you me, a lot of people know the song, but they don't know the face. Nah, that part there. And I'm not trying to give them the face. Because mm-hmm. little do people know sometimes when they know the face, is more trouble than it is not knowing the face. Yeah. Get the end up, don't want to be bothered. <laughs> right. So my thing is, hey, Anybody out there want to really learn this dance? Anybody mm-hmm. out there really want to learn about the dance? Anybody want to know the history of the dance? Mm-hmm. Hopefully, my man, Brian, we're going to make it happen. 
That's what's call up. me for sure. Call me for sure. Somebody just mentioned. Look, black somebody black just black. mentioned Orange is the new black. We talked about the shows your song on. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So you was actually on that show. What? weren't you in that? weren't you on one of those episodes? On that show. Yeah, yeah I thought I remember seeing that. Yeah. Right. right. To tell the truth, I was on that. But see, my thing is, it was what it was. That's over. You don't hear me going around. I'm in all these movies. You don't hear me going around doing that. Because what's done, you pay for it and it's done. Right. That's and you money, keep money seen, money gone. Time to do the next thing. Time to do the next thing. So, um, bro, I'm happy. I'm happy with my family. I'm happy with my stepper's family. I'm happy mm-hmm. with my life. I'm happy with my wife. There you go. Anything else beyond be, bro. that? Anything else beyond that? That's on y'all. If y'all want to go out there with anger and animosity in your heart and leave here with animosity in your heart, it's on y'all. Keep doing what you're doing. But if you want to learn the truth and you want to learn the real stuff and you want to learn the, the stuff that's out there, trust me. You know who to call. Mm-hmm. Nah, I ain't talking about Ghostbusters. I'm talking about cats. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. Well, we 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 show sure going to uh, use the lifeline when we need to. Because trust me, bro. To, sometimes it. I get, I, I do, I get people who make statements sometimes that I just, you know, I, all I can do is give them the side eye, you know, and I just kind of leave it there. Um, but rarely do I have people. In fact, I can't ever recall a time that I've had anybody on this show that was um, just a completely out of pocket or wrong, or because everybody has their own place in this history and their own story. And I like for people to tell their story. Um, exactly. I've not had the opportunity, thankfully, to have anybody come on here to refute anyone else's story or to say what another person was or wasn't doing. And I want to always keep it that way. So that's always a good thing. And I appreciate you brother for, you know, uh, being in my corner like you have been and, and, you know, uh, making sure that, you know, we keep the record straight. Long as I know I got people like you on speed dial, we beautiful. (laughs) Hey, and I'm just going to tell it like it is. All the people that don't like the truth don't ask me. Nah. Ooh. Because one thing for sure, we know you're going to give it to them in the raw. In <laughs> Uncut, the raw. no chaser. <laughs> I ain't got time to chase and I ain't got time to lies because lies is too hard to keep up with. Man, what you said. So, mm. That part right there. Well, look here, Casper, man. We're going to cut it loose. I appreciate you coming on and kicking it with your boy, man. But we're going to do this again real soon. As a matter of fact, um, if I don't see you, well, I'll be in Chicago, I think, in June or something. So I'm going I'm to reach out to you then. And, for um, sure, when uh when we get well i i'm probably gonna see you a hundred more times before we uh actually before get we, right 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 <laughs> so hey, bro, i'm gonna send you a video okay a uh, matter of fact i don't know if you can go to my 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 uh my page casper perry all right go to my page casper perry mm-hmm. and uh stroll down and you'll see an old video of me skating. Okay. Back in the 70s and 80s. Okay. And we were at Rainbow at a skate contest. It was Southside versus Westside. Yeah, I remember skating. Rainbow. That used to be a, used to be a nice I spot. I want you to go there. and check that out. Okay. Also, uh, while I got people over here listening, uh, like I told you all, I was a club DJ back in the days i used to play steppers music i used to do it all i still do actually i got my own radio station shout it out uh casperclassicradio.org okay that's the link to the website where you can go on and listen live casperclassicradio.org o-r-g you can go on there right now right now we're doing um turn down tuesdays my wife does a show she playing um, when you get right down to it, by Phyllis Hyman, huh. my wife plays music too. Okay. Yes, just like just like Miss Ford. Yeah, she she she'll get in there now and then and play around. <laughs> so my thing is, my thing is, if if you want to advertise anything, if you want to uh, listen to some good music, because uh, I play. Uh, I don't play no hip hop on my stations. That's it's all thing. dusty, <laughs> classic music, dusty steppers, and more. But it, the and more does not mean 
hip hop music because I don't play it. Okay. Okay. No. So y'all yeah. come on over there and check it out. Keep yourself locked on Inside Stepping with my boy Brian. And hey, like I like I'm Brian's lifeline, y'all. So right. anything he needs to know that he's got a debate about, he's going to call me and I'm going to set the record straight. So everybody that don't want the record set straight, don't put the record out there wrong. Now, that part right there. I'm putting your uh, I'm putting your I'm putting your radio your radio uh uh tag up right now. Cl caspaclassicradio.org, y'all. Yeah. It's on the screen they just so right in case y'all want to know where to go. That's where you go. Matter of fact, is there any way you can pull it up right now? Uh, or your because I want to send a shout out to y'all. I am in. I have over six million listeners in 116 countries. Ooh we. Um, I'm trying to see now. <clears throat> if you can pull it up, let me know you're listening so I can send you a shout out, and you can hear it all the way in, in Texas where you are. Okay. See, I don't have a. I'm not knocking the Facebook stations and all that, right. but I have a real radio station, which is on the app, like an iHeart app. And I send, I can go live on mine and don't have to worry about being cut off by Facebook. Right. I'm trying to see if, we, if I can pull it up right now. Let's see. Pull it up and let me know. O R G, bang, and then hit listen yeah. live. All right, we listening live right now. It's gonna say off air, but don't worry about that. It's not off air. <laughs> All right, now I, I can't physically hear it. Let me see, on my end, but it should be playing through the system. Let me see. Well, I want you to, I want you to be able to hear it. What you need, headphones? No, I got a headphone here. Oh, there it is, right here. Okay. All right. All right, you hear right? The audience can hear that, yeah. Can the audience hear it? Yep. Okay. I got a, maybe about 30 seconds on this Phyllis Hyman that I'm going to, uh, after that, I'm going to do a, a quick drop and give it back, hand it back to my wife. Okay. But I want to... This is this is a live station. It's twenty four seven, y'all. Okay. Stays on twenty four seven. Huh. You in tune? The cast for Classic Radio. Want to say what's up to my buddy Brian Forbes from Inside Step and checking in. And guess what, y'all? You're listening to DJ KB. Turn down Tuesdays. Let's go. What's up? You in tune? Classic, classic real go. Want to say what's up to my buddy Brian Ford from Inside Fit and Chicken? Okay. And guess what, y'all? You, you listen to DJ KB. Turn, turn down Tuesdays. Let's go. Ha, there you Hi, go. Hi, it's your girl DJ KB. Getting ready to turn it up for Turn Down Tuesdays on Casper's Classic Radio. What a deal. What a deal. Beautiful, beautiful, man. So I, I want to get you. I want to get you here, bro. I, I really want to get you here so that you can um, definitely go live. I'm in, like I said, I'm in 116 countries, bro. So there's people listening all the way from Spain, everywhere. They listen That's to That's a beautiful thing. <laughs> they listen all over the country. That's what's happening. So, yeah, man. Um, I'm, I'm, you know me, I'm down for whatever, man. You know what? I was just sitting here, and it occurred to me, since we was talking about the skates and all of that stuff, you was talking about uh, uh, Rainbow back in the day, man. You mm -hmm. know, I have a very fond memory <laughs> of the time you, one of the times you came into Chick Ricks and uh, did your thing on the floor back there skating. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I used to do that in the gold show back in the day. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's what I'm talking yeah, about. Sure. And uh, old Weasel, man, I, you know, and it, it, you mentioned him Weasel, earlier, man. Weasel was my man. Weasel yeah, was man. All, I miss Weasel so much. Yeah, man. I may he rest in peace, man. That I like yeah, that dude. So he he was, fun, a lot, he was a lot of fun, man. Yeah. And Weasel wasn't no young cat either. Really. A lot of people don't know. Weezer wasn't no young cat. Huh. He ain't wearing no socks, but he wasn't no young cat. <laughs> okay. That's what's happening. 
We, well, used to, we used to have fun, bro. I used to go out on west side, south side, north side. It wasn't a side that I couldn't go on. Yeah. yeah. I'm from the south side of Chicago, but I traveled all over it was able to, Chicago. You had, you had a hall pass. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. There everybody go, everybody can't say that. <laughs> and, hey, man, like I said, I've been out here for many moons, man. I've seen a lot of people come and go. It, and And... and I mean, it's just crazy how they still keep up the same stuff that they used to do back in the 80s. It's a human condition, baby. They're going to always, man, people going to be people no matter what. They're infallible at being people. And as long as they're infallible at being human, they're going to be fallible. And but that's what you know we have what? to live with. You can set yourself on the right trail. You know, different. get yourself on your path. That's it. You don't have to follow that path. That's right. You don't have Absolutely. to follow my path. Just Absolutely. follow a path. Now, set a path and follow it. <laughs> there you my go. man. I so like that. All the steppers, all the steppers that's on this on this line today, on, on inside stepping. Don't let nobody tell you what you can't do because you're mm -hmm. capable of doing anything in life that the next person is doing. No one owns this dance. Period. All right. And Full I'm going to tell stop. you this. No one owns this dance. Because if that might have been the case, why they didn't stop me? Hmm. That's it. Think about it. Nah. I don't know, man. You sure you don't own it? No. <laughs> I don't own it you, might, you might be the owner yourself. You've been around longer than most. <laughs> look, look. I own the cha cha slide. That's the only dance I own. You know, mm -hmm. I own a lot of them type of dances, but the stepping, I don't own it. That's right. I just create and put me in it. That's all. Nah, that's that, that the part people right enjoy, there. The people enjoy me, watching me perform. Well, I'm one, because like I said, I enjoyed the hell out of uh, Phoenix, man, when you did that live call, and the homeboy got out there and did the split and air thing. <laughs> <laughs> I had to cut the slide. Man, they was cutting up. They was cutting up, man. <laughs> I had to cut the slide when he did that split. I'm like, hey, <laughs> hey. Yeah, it was, they was cutting up sideways. I had a lot of fun, man. It oh, seems yeah. like everywhere you go, man, it's a lot of fun. Hmm. Maybe, there's a, maybe there's a connection here. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what, though? That's uh -huh. what it's all about, man, having fun. Absolutely. And I'm going to have fun wherever I go. If you want to have fun, come on out. Because I'm going to have fun with or without you. Who we? Yes, sir. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have fun. Yes, I wish sir. I would have been able to make it to the pool party, but I was in Phoenix for another reason. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. Bro. You know, I ended, up, I ended up spending the pool party myself. I heard. Yeah. But I, I'm not portraying to be the baddest stepper out here. Mm-hmm. But I can portray to be the stepper that did what he did when he did it. Now, and had fun doing it. And had fun doing it. Now, I can't do half the stuff I used to do 20 years ago. Right. But I still I still know what, what, what it is. Mm -hmm. You know what you're looking at. You know what you're looking for. There you go. Now. There you go. Right there. And I hope that everybody else take this dance, put it under your belt create you put you inside of it and enjoy it enjoy yeah, it it is when you come to chicago enjoy it when you go anywhere else do not be intimidated when you come to chicago mm -hmm. come and enjoy the dance and and let the rest of it be where it is that's right and that in that order yep well look here casper it's time man we got to get ready to roll man look i appreciate you coming on we gonna uh kick it again real soon and um, hang out, man, and have some more fun. Damn it, man. Oh, yeah, because it's a lot more to talk about. You know, we got to talk about how the freestyle category came about. We have It's a lot of stuff we got to talk about. Actually, yeah. Um, as a matter of fact, uh, what upcoming, that uh, the, the gentleman that you and I spoke with the other day, mm -hmm. I want for, I would like for the three of us to have that conversation. I think that would be a dynamic show. 
I want to set that up for the very near future. Okay, well, definitely let me know. Like you say, you got me on speed dial. You can dial Hick- it. Hiccup, my producer talking about, no, 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 no. You got to do that another time. No, no, no. <laughs> we we, we going to get to it. Okay. You know, I, you know, I got people directing over here telling me what to do, you dig? So, right, uh, right, right. <laughs> I say you say you got me on speed dial, so you can call me slow if you want to. Absolutely. Just don't call me late. Nah, never that. All right. My, my, my producer said we got to get you to San Antonio. Let me know when. Yeah, I heard y'all be, y'all be doing a whole lot of stuff. They got the ranch down there and everything. I, I, I hear about everything. Yeah, we, we do a little something, something down here, man. We, 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 we changing some things around, so I'll keep you abreast of what's happening. <laughs> all right. Well, I just got right. one thing to leave with all our listeners before I go. Please do. This is what I want you all to do. Dream the impossible. If you believe, you can achieve. Also... Take the first six months of the new year minding your own business Ooh. and take the second six months of the new year staying out of everybody else's business. That part right damn there. Let's make it happen, y'all. That, them are words to grow on, y'all. All right, Casper, I appreciate you, man. Love you, brother. We're going to see you real soon. All right, for sure. Peace out. Peace. All right, y'all. Casper Perry, Mr. Cha-Cha Slide himself in the building, here to kick it with us. Y'all, it's been a long show, but it's been a good show because I, you know, I'm talking to people that I love, man. I'm talking to people that uh, are major players in the game. You know what I'm saying? And have, have made marks in the game and have helped lay the groundwork for what we love and what we do. With all of that, I'm not gonna hold y'all no longer, man. Thank you all for tuning in. I love every one of you. Um, tune in tomorrow night to the Black Factor. We're going to discuss guns in America. And I don't, I don't know how many of y'all have seen these new pictures out about these proms where these people are holding uh, guns and uh, things like that. So we're going to discuss this a little bit at length and in depth. So y'all get ready for that for tomorrow night on The Black Factor. In the meantime, I want everybody to have yourselves a fantastic evening. Thank you, uh, Earthquake. I appreciate you, my brother. Say great show. I want everybody to have yourselves a wonderful evening. Enjoy uh, what you have. Kiss somebody you love. Tell them you love them. Give them their flowers while they're still here, man. And let's just enjoy this life and dance together, break bread together, communicate, and love on one another until we can't no more, y'all. In the meantime and in between time, I want everybody to have yourselves a great night. Peace. Peace.